Chuck, lunatic lens, everybody. One of those longtime uh, donators and just supporters of the show who's been around for so long. And uh, I, we have people in the chat saying, hey, JD, call in. Hey, JD, if you're listening, call in. Absolutely. I'd love to get JD on the show. Uh, let's go to Reggie from Miami, Florida, who I believe might have a question about EC3. Is that true? Uh, yes, it is. Hey, Solomon, how's it going, man? Good. How are you? I'm good. Just driving back from uh, work. Um, congratulations on your 500 show. My question about EC Carter is, he's re- he was just recently on the Sean Waltman podcast, and he was asked about a potential return to WWE, I guess, whenever his contract with TNA is up. My question to you is, if he does go, what show should he go on, and where should he be booked? Uh, how should he be booked? And, and that's the question. Okay, I got it. I got it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Reggie. Um, EC3, where should he go if he were to come back to WWE? You know, honestly, I think EC3 would be a good fit for NXT, honestly. But if I had to pick one of the brands over the other, I would pick Raw just because Raw needs the help. Raw is so boring right now. They've got a lot of problems. But one of the issues, I think, is, you know, fresh talent. It's always nice to bring fresh talent onto the show. So I would bring EC3 to Raw. Uh, in what role? Hopefully a prominent one. I think he works better as a heel. Um, so that's the, the the role that I would bring him, you know, into. I wouldn't thrust him into the main event right away, like for the championship or anything like that. But I think Raw would be the place that I would put him just because Raw needs a boost. And he's a fresh face who I think could give a boost to that show. So... That's why I would put him on Raw.